Gracias amigos por continuar con nosotros en este programa que le hemos dedicado a la delegación israelita que visita el Ecuador por el motivo de la Habitat 3, este gran evento enorme que hemos tenido aquí en la ciudad de Quito y en el Ecuador. Y tenemos la suerte de conversar a, a continuación eh, con el señor Eshel Armoni. Él es actualmente director general del Ministerio de Construcción y Vivienda de Israel y uh, tiene uh, una excelente um, historia de vida, hoja de vida. Eh, ha, sido, eh, ha trabajado en una ciudad como administrador de la ciudad, tiene estudios en historia, filosofía, economía, um, administración de negocios. Uh, y ustedes me van a permitir ahora que pasemos a inglés para entrevistar a nuestro siguiente invitado. Uh, happy to have you here, uh, Mr. Armoni. Um, I was explaining to the people that is here in our, our program about uh, your background and also about what you are doing now. And it will be good for us to hear you um, talking about how Israel is working in the new cities for this new millennium and uh, how housing is uh, uh, managing in, in, in Israel. Well, first of all, thank you for having me, uh, me here. I'm uh, very uh, happy to be here. First time in Ecuador. Uh, first time in Ecuador. Um, well, you know that the housing now in Israel is one of the biggest problems. Uh, the prices have been going up um, for the last 10 years, and it's very difficult for young couples to mm -hmm. uh, purchase uh, a new house. So one of the, of the main issues that is concerning the government is trying to uh, solve this problem, to tackle this issue, to uh, enlarge the supply of apartments so the prices will go down. We're living in a, in a, a reality that the interest rates are very low. Price of land is very high in Israel <coughs> because you don't have such a big amount of, 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 uh, of land. But also you, you continue receiving people from other uh, places in the world moving to Israel? Yes, uh, we have uh, immigration, but uh, mm -hmm. the natural birth is very high. It's true what you said about the scarcity of land, but that's not the main issue. No. The main issue of the, of the prices going up is because the demand for apartments is larger than the supply. So what we have to do, we have to open the supply, the whole chain of supply, planning and building and developing the areas around the housing. So this is one of the main issues that is concerning uh, this uh, current government. And uh, how you are managing <coughs> it? How, what proposals are you doing? Uh, I imagine uh, with the private sector also, but the big lines, the big policies have to be done by the Well, first the of all, in Israel, uh, most of the land is owned by the government. So the government can allocate more and more lands to be planned. Uh, okay. it, could, it can plan them and it uh, also can initiate different projects um, to make uh, developers uh, um, produce more and more apartments. So the first thing that we're doing is we're really producing more and more apartments. And we're also uh, making sure for the near future that there will be more and more apartments. We need to produce um, almost uh, 60,000, 70,000 apartments every year. Mm. And I think that we are, we are getting there. Yeah. Yes, we're getting there. The second thing yeah. is that we have a special program that is geared towards young couples who do not have any property. And we're giving them some, we're giving them large uh, uh, discounts on the apartments. So Facilities to so yeah. so of, so that can of course facilitate uh, them in in buying uh, property and, and being uh, a, a, and having an apartment that is uh, their own. We know that this is the main uh, difference in mm -hmm. the gap between people uh, between the rich and the poor is if you own an apartment at an early age. So this, these are the two main. Uh, the two main um, issues issues yeah. that we're that mm -hmm. we're dealing with. And what about materials and eco-friendly buildings? Because nowadays we are thinking about how to save energy, how to save water, how to use materials they are not contaminating or polluting the the environment. How we are you are working on it? Well, first of all, uh, in terms of uh, working with materials, we have. Uh, different laws that uh, the builders have to abide 
by and so to use uh, these materials that are eco-friendly. But we're also uh, initiating different programs for using uh, um, energy that is uh, friend friendly energy. We're shifting the whole energy in Israel from coal to gas to natural gas. To natural gas, yes. yeah. And um, you you are producing natural gas yes, now. In yes, Israel, yes, yes. Yeah. We, you know, this is a big thing in Israel. Then it's cheaper than to import. It's, uh, it's cheaper, oil. and we're mm -hmm. also going to export this uh, natural oh, gas. Yeah. It's a big issue in Israel, and we're actually building a whole new infrastructure that will bring the gas from the sea to the cities. Yeah, the gas is. Uh, on the sea, no. the gas, yeah. the gas is in the, the sea. Discovery, yes. Yeah, and um, most of the of the buildings, the new houses, are considering this uh, gas supply energy. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in in the planning of the of the new cities, then the whole in infrastructure. We have two main companies that uh, that the one tender to build the infrastructure, one in the north and one in the south, and they will actually bring. The natural gas up to the houses. So, yeah, w one of the of the big issues also with building houses is about the garbage that the building process produce. Mm -hmm. Like uh, how how manage it in an eco uh, friendly cities uh, nowadays and in the future. Well, in a in a really eco friendly uh, um, site. You would want to have a, in a large site for 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 apartments. You would want to have actually um, an area in which you you will bring all the leftovers mm -hmm. of uh, of the of the buildings of the buildings, process them, and and perhaps some of them um, can be reused. You can put them. Yeah. In or, or the idea is not to produce leftovers. It's it's hard to say, but maybe in the future. Um, Maybe in the future, mm -hmm. if when when we move to using uh, more steel yeah. and less concrete, steel. when yes. you when you uh, when you use steel, when you use uh, mm -hmm. a, a industrialized uh, ways of building yeah, parts of parts, so yeah. you put them together, you have it's to like Lego. So you have like less yeah. less uh, um, wet. Uh, um, uh, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to use cement. So mm -hmm. you have, uh, you know, as you said, less leftovers. Uh, and we're going there because um, industrialized uh, building systems today is uh, a, is quicker, is mm -hmm. a bit cheaper, yeah. is more eco-friendly, and also in terms of uh, quality. Is better quality, but uh, you have to shift the whole um, the whole market of uh, of construction and to bring in uh, know-how. We're actually bringing in new companies, new foreign companies. We had a tender. We uh, recently issued a tender for foreign companies to come and work in Israel with all these industrialized systems, and more than 50 companies applied, and we're just. Um, just before I came here, we chose the new technology, new startups, new companies, new, uh, new technology, uh -huh. um, uh, workers. We need the uh, workforce, and and the, the whole issue is to bring in the know-how and and have the know-how um, become uh, the know-how of of our uh, of our companies. We we wouldn't want. Uh, foreign companies to come and conquer the market and then mm -hmm. leave us without the know-how. We want, you know, of course, the know-how. Yeah, that, that's uh, what we can wait in the future from uh, Israel trying to make uh, buildings without leftovers. And another issue that is a very important issue is uh, how to move in the cities, uh, tra public transport, uh, because uh, uh, you are not only housing but also in uh, other other issues that had to be to construction. I don't know if roads are on part of or mm -hmm. your responsibility. Well, roads in the city is part of our responsibility, mm -hmm. and of course, transportation is a big issue because when you build new apartments, you have to provide. Uh, you have to provide yeah, uh, how to arrive there, how to exactly. move. Exactly. So it's yeah. either public transportation or you need mm -hmm. parking lots. You need larger. Uh, larger roads, 
and uh, you need an infrastructure. And then you have always the question, always the dilemma of the necessities of, of the short term with the necessities of the long term. Mm -hmm. Do you build the apartments without having already the infrastructure? If you wait for the infrastructure, then people will not have apartments to live in. If you build the apartments before the you infrastructure... You have to match, uh, do it together. Uh, you have to do it together, but it's not always the not, same. Not easy, uh, of course. You yeah. know, uh, building a, a large, uh, a large, uh, or building a public transportation can take seven, eight years, especially if it's underground. Yeah, and course. buildings will take two and a half years. So, uh, really, managing the short term and the long term is is something that um, that. Uh, is, is, is preoccupying uh, uh, our decision making. And actually, this issue is, is the main issue that comes out in, uh, in Habitat. In Habitat, yes, of course. Because all the countries, and it doesn't matter if you're a developing country or a developed country, mm -hmm. all the countries are tackling the same issues, and all the countries are trying to find solutions. But, um, what you need for now is not what you will need in 10 years. And, and this issue of making the decisions, not forgetting the long term, but also m providing uh, solutions for the short term, yeah. is, 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 is very interesting to learn from experiences of it's other It's a big countries. challenge. Yeah, Israel, Israel have also big challenges in housing and building. Uh, it's, one, uh, it's only one of them. Only one of them, <laughs> of course. Thank you very much to uh, Ethel Armoni, uh, he's the Director General of the uh, Ministry of Housing and Construction in Israel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gracias, amigos, por habernos acompañado. Nos quedamos con esto. Israel tiene otros desafíos que no son solamente los vecinos, que no es solamente eh, cómo solucionar temas de, de, la, de paz, pero también otros que son de la vida diaria. Eh, regresamos con ustedes luego de una pausa.